Hello, everyone. This is our final week, so let's get going and get started and get through the semester. You have until Tuesday, February the, I'm looking it up, the 5th, Tuesday at midnight to get all of your work in, so be sure and get everything in by that Tuesday night. Um, I'm a little bit late on my announcements, but I figure some of you haven't started yet, so let's get started. This final week is all about ecosystems and the biosphere, which the biosphere includes every part of the earth where you find any organisms. So way up into the atmosphere, down onto the surface of the earth, down into the depths of the ocean, and as far down into to the soil, uh, in the sediment of the ocean where you find life. So that's the biosphere. Um, you'll need to read chapters 17 and 18. 17 is about communities and ecosystems. And um, 18 is all about the biosphere and especially how human beings affect the workings of the biosphere. And of course, watch the introductory video. Your discussion board postings are your first response, your initial post is due by Sunday night. Um, how do human beings cause the loss of biodiversity? That means how are we removing organisms from ecosystems that throw the ecosystem out of balance, really is basically what it is. And how do we cause extinction of different species? And also, you need to discuss if there are any potential solutions to these problems, and there are some, so um, be sure to look these up. And also include those when you're responding to your fellow students' posts. Talk about those potential solutions and how you might solve this problem. Then you have Week 8 Writing Assignment, which of course is due by Tuesday night. and um, in the weekly content, you have three different websites listed under the writing assignment that will help you find lists of these different species. So go to that and take a look. You need to choose one each of these different species, one extinct species, one endangered species, and one threatened species. And you need to list these, of course. And then you need to include a discussion of what factors contributed to their status. So why is a bald eagle on the endangered species list? What contributed to eagles uh, ending up on the endangered species list? <clears throat> Was it DDT, the use of a pesticide um, in the environment? Was it something else, loss of habitat? So there are lots of different things that contribute to the status. So look those up. And also you need to look to see if there are any recovery plans for these species. Are there ways to bring them back into their ecosystems and help them survive so they can then become part of the ecosystem again? And if there are recovery plans, then what are they? And then finally, of course, you need to take the week eight quiz, so don't forget that. And like I said, this is the end of the term, so you have to get everything in, everything that might be missing has to be in by Tuesday night. As always, if you have any questions or any problems, please email me, jsigmund at grantham.edu. I am here for you. Just call on me and I will help you. And that might be especially true this last week. So <clears throat> I'll be looking for your email messages. Thanks, and have a good week, and it's been a great semester.